Hello there, and welcome to Alvarez's Diecast Customs. Now today we're going to be working on this Hot Wheels Volkswagen T1 panel van. This one's been sat in my box of random cars that I've robbed parts from over the time. This one I believe I took the wheels off of it to begin with. And I stripped the paint quite a while ago intending to do a custom on it, and now's the time to get round to it. So let's have a closer look at it. Yeah, it's pretty good looking. Nice casting. As you can see, I've already sanded down the roof on that. I believe there was a casting line down it. Otherwise, it's all pretty sound. I believe it was one of their Marvel Comics series. Had some sort of comic character on the side of it, maybe. Can't quite remember. Got a metal base to it. I've already taken the time to drill it out and put a screw in there. I used uh, five mil self-tapping screws. I also removed the wheels, just used a pair of side cutters and clipped a little metal teeth there that hold those in. So we'll be using these Hot Wheels wheels that I had in my spares box. Got a little, nice little interior. And uh, thankfully a nice good clear window. None of that coloured rubbish. Yep, all good. So we can get on with doing a custom on this one. So what I'm going to be doing with this one is I'm going to make it look like sort of a barn find. So I'll be using this MIG ammo rust wash to begin with. This is again painted directly straight onto the metal as it is. Very easy paint to use. It just finds all of the gaps and everything just goes on nice and smooth. So, yep, just literally cover the whole thing. We'll also do the base while we're at it as well. There we go. Let that dry off. I also clear coated it quickly with a good matte coat. And that's all ready to dry. And we can start doing some extra detailing on it. I'm going to be going with a two-tone colour on this. So I'll be using this Tamiya masking tape. It's been the best masking tape I've found so far. I'm just going to work along the body line here and do my two-tone colour. So just trying to get the line with the masking tape there to match it. Make sure it's pressed on nice and firmly. Minimizes the bleeds under the paint that does. Also just work around the front with the detail in there. And in order to pick out the body line there, I'll just use a scalpel and cut the tape. And peel off the excess that we don't need. And there we go. Now I'm going to be using the salt and water technique. I've seen Danny's Diecast Disasters do this a number of occasions and I like the effect of it. So I'm going to go give it a shot myself. So as you see I've just used a brush with some water. And literally just sprinkling ground salt onto the side of the casting. This essentially makes the salt stick to the wet areas you've painted on. And then all you need to do is just shake off the salt. And there you go, you're left with small areas where it's still covered. There we go, that's after doing the whole body. I'm going to be painting that part white, as you can see. Now we need to remove the salt that's there. So I'll be using a stiff bristled brush and just working away at the salt. It's a bit stubborn, but you get there eventually. There we go, that's all with the salt and masking tape removed. It's quite a convincing look to it already. Uh, 
I'm just going to be going about doing another colour on the lower area. So what I'll need to do is just mask off the top that I've already painted up. Again, just work into the body lines. Mask that all off. Same again with the treatment on the salt. And there we go. I painted the lower half in metallic purple. Removed all the salt and mask and tape already. You don't need to see that done twice, really. I also hit the wheels with some um, matte black as well. And the base also got hit with the clear coat when I did the body. You can get on with some detailing, so I'm just going to be painting in the headlights and other little areas with some Ravel aluminium paint. Also the Volkswagen badge on the front there to get that painted in, tail lights, door handles, whatever else I could find. Just little extra details to bring it out. And also the uh, wheel inserts, I'll be painting those in silver too. Not the neatest of jobs, but that doesn't matter with the build we're going for. I can tidy that up later. The interior piece, I literally just go over with a off-white from Citadel. Just go over the whole thing. Good base colour to work with. And also use that same white just to paint in the headlights on the body. Keeping the silver surrounds, but with the white headlight. Quite nice look to that. Now around the whole body, I'm just going to be using Citadel's Typhus Corrosion. It's literally just mud in a bottle. It's got a bit of a gritty texture to it. It's a nice effect if used right and sparingly. You don't want to go too heavy. As you can see, I just dab it with my finger just to thin out some areas. I don't want it on too hard. There we go. That's after going around some areas, just giving it a bit more added texture. Just apply the same typhus corrosion to the whole chassis. I'm just going to be using Citadel's Riser Rust. This is a dry brush paint. You put it onto a dry brush, a very little amount, and just brush it gently. I'm mainly focusing on the typhus corrosion sections, as with the Riser Rust applied over it, it's got a really convincing rust look to them. Now finally, I'm just going to be going over the entire body now with some Agrax Earthshade in varying thicknesses over the whole thing. This beds everything in and sort of blends it all together nicely. It's literally just a uh, brown wash, this. But yeah, a very good effect with it. It's one of my favourite tools in my toolbox for painting a lot, a lot of my customs along with the known oil from Citadel. So we'll also apply the same Agrax Earthshade to the chassis too. So I've gone and clear coated the body and the chassis as well. There's our wheels, I've given them an Agrax Earthshade treatment and also just went around a slight rim with, on them with the white paint. They've come out quite nicely. The window piece, I didn't do a whole lot to I just dry brushed some yellow sand paint into some areas to make it look like dirt on the windows and brushed away some of the paint where the window wipers would have gone. There's on interior Agrax Earthshade treatment to that as well. A little bit of extra detail for the steering wheel. Not a whole lot to it, to be honest. As our base, as you can see, that's been clear coated, sealed everything in. A nice sort of rusty, grotty look to that now. We'll just go about putting this thing back together. And the chassis piece, it locates on that rear number plate that goes through the back there and 
only requires the single screw to screw it in. As I said, I like to use these 5 mil self-tapping screws. I just used a pair of side cutters and cut the slight tip off of it to make it slightly shorter. Now, I can reveal it to you. Quite a cool looking VW panel van, I think. It's a bit of a new effect I went with with this. I've done bat, the sort of the Gasland styles before. Just wanted to try and go with sort of a rust, rusty, sort of rotted look to it. Something that you'd find in a barn. Also wanted to try Danny's Diecast Disasters salt trick that he uses out. Let's just take a closer look at it. Yeah, I'm very happy with this one. I really do like how that's came out. It's got a very convincing effect to it. It's definitely something that I'm going to be exploring in the future again. It's quite enjoyable to do. Not very time consuming like a lot of my builds. Got this done in an afternoon, which was quite good. Usually it takes several days going through paint processes and waiting for it to dry and everything. This was very quick. So yep, yeah, very pleased with this one. I would also like to say, you know, couple of videos time with my coming up close to a thousand subscribers so I'll be doing a giveaway on this particular car here just so keep your eyes peeled for that one here's some extra pictures I took of it just under a different light conditions So yeah, if you'd like to add this one to your collection, keep an eye on my next few videos where I'll be announcing a giveaway for it. And for the time being, let's go see our goddess Super Pochaco and see what she's got for us next time. Oh, what's that? Nice. Take a look. Huh. Looks like a Hot Wheels Ford Ranchero. That's pretty cool. Yeah, liking it. Got some ideas for this one. Thanks for that. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. As I mentioned earlier, I took some inspiration from Danny's Diecast Disasters. If you haven't seen his videos yet, go ahead and check out the link I've put in the description below. One of my favorite YouTubers is for some of these customs he is. So yeah, go give him some support. And thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.